So I gotta tell you guys something. Before I play the video, I, you know, I say we learn together and we grow together. Another thing that is just confirmed and I learned even more is what we eat, because the taste affects how we smell, right? I hadn't had anything sweet, anything fruity uh, throughout the day. So I was smelling it and I was getting a lot of the fur, right? The fur, the, the fur balsam, getting all of those notes, right? And the rose was not so prominent. I ate apple and I sprayed it on again because I wanted to see how it would smell. And I got this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous rose. So that just lets us know. Ooh. That lets us know that we may smell something and depending on how, what we've eaten or haven't eaten, that same fragrance will smell differently if we eat something sweeter or more savory or spicier. Those, what we eat affects how we smell. Just wanted to say that. Okay, enjoy the show. <laughs> So I am wearing Summit Rose and all I can say is that Summit Rose is someone's Rose older brother. I'm loving it. Summit Rose really is like a smoky rose. It's, I, I want to say it's like, a, like molasses, not because it's sweet, but because it's thick and it's dense and it's a very masculine rose scent. I've never smelled such a masculine rose scent. So I am digging it, wit and west. So I spoke to a lady, I took an Uber here to work and I spoke to the driver and I asked her if she could smell the fragrance. She said, absolutely. And I asked her what she thought of it. She says, it's very nice. She didn't pick up on the rose. And so now it's been officially an hour and a half since I sprayed it on. And now the rose is blossoming beautifully, but it is a very masculine leaning rose. And so what she says that she likes about it is that it is a very soft, not overpowering fragrance. This one is definitely not overpowering. That's something that Witten West does. So it's going to be one of my go-to um, suggestions when people ask for a fragrance that is not overpowering. So I do have their discovery set. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to get used to the different ones. I know that the um, um, Riyadh is vetiver. Um, I, this one develops into a masculine rose, but it's very, it's very fur. It's very fur. So it has fur and balsam fur, and it has like, it's very fougerish. But then it develops into this, it's like, I'm not going to say rose, but it's like a boozy kind of uh, molassy uh, fur rose fragrance that is perfect for men. It's it's not a it's not a um eastern kind of middle eastern kind of rose. It's a very western uh almost french kind of rose. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking it the rose here reminds me a little bit of the um Le Jardin Retrouvé Rose Trocadero. It reminds me a little bit of that because Rose Trocadero which is one of my favorite rose fragrances. Um, that one, it smells like rose petal and stem and leaf. It just, it's, it's real rose. So you have a little bit of that amongst the balsam and the fur and the, the fur balsam and all of that. You know what I mean? So this one has impressed me. It has impressed me. Wit and West, I waited a long time to, uh, go through the house and purchase fragrances. Um, people had sent me the discovery set. I just never got around to smelling them. Uh, this time, I'm really happy. I feel like fragrances, I come to fragrance houses at the right time. Does that make sense? Uh, I'll come into a fragrance house at the right time when my nose and my heart are ready to discover it. So I'm very happy. So there you go. Okay, so I will see you guys later. Thank you.